Park has actually been named one of the poster children parks for global warming. One of our most effective exhibits that you can see within the park is at the Mini Glacier Hotel. You can actually see there's a whole hallway called repeat photography where you can view glaciers, what they looked like in the 60s, 70s, many years ago, and what they look like today. It's actually really stunning. And there are a lot of glaciers where you'll see a full healthy looking glacier and now there's nothing. So that shows exactly how quickly we're losing them. And in fact, between 2020 and 2030, we're not going to have any more glaciers. Also, you can see the differences in our animals and their behaviors. We have Pika, the very small furry rabbit family animal. And he lives high up like this. And the Pika actually is so small and has such a little warm system. He can only withstand 90, 90 degree temperatures for up to six hours before he dies. Um, and so the higher he moves, the better it is for him. However, he can only move so high. The same goes for our wolverines. We actually have the densest amount of wolverines in the continental US within the park. We have roughly 50% of wolverine dens that are found in the entire lower 48. 50% are found within our park borders. We have roughly 30 wolverines, which is great. And we're learning a lot about them. Um, however, we, they have to have snowpack in order to be able to make their dens and be able to have their children. And a mother's body, a mother wolverine, actually knows that there's not enough resources or not enough snow to have them and will actually expel that egg. She won't even have the kit. Her body just gets rid of it if it can't be supported. And actually, if you look out, you can see the tree line growing. Uh, many years ago, that was much lower. And they think within the next few decades, these tree lines will begin to rise until we don't have any of these rock cliffs anymore. Everything will be forest, which does make new habitat for some animals, but it pushes out our, our alpine meadows. It completely leaves them with nowhere to go because they need the alpine meadows, they need the rocks, our mountain goats need rocky areas, and they can't survive in forests. They're not, they're easy prey when they're there. So several decades ago, within the 50s, we did have around 150 glaciers within our park. Now, today, we only have 25, and that was actually last counted around 2006 there's a very good chance that we have less now. We're just not sure. 